Right, we're going to start this video here. We're up on the east side of Patea on a road what's called Soy Chayapruk, and it's Soy Chayapruk 2. The reason why we're here, check out this. You remember a few weeks ago, I did a, we did a, the abandoned condos uh, in Pattaya. Well, look what we've got here behind us. We've got an abandoned stadium. Um, this the bit of history about it, what we do know, is completely unfinished. Um, they, st they started working on it in 2008 with a budget of 775 million baht. But apparently in 2012, the work was stopped and nobody knows why. It's supposed to be ready next year for the 2023 Asia Games. But from what I can see, there is no work going on this one. The capacity of this is over 20,000 people, or it should have been over 20,000 people. And it was designed to be a football stadium. So anybody know exactly what happened to this? Let us know in the comments. That was Chayapruk Stadium in up on the Chaya, Chayapruk 2. You know what, What? that's a lot of money to waste, to have wasted. And um, if anybody knows for sure what's gone on, I think we can all guess, to be honest with you, but I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> anyway, we are back in Pattaya Central. And what I wanted it to do was we, we, we continue with the Kapow Mu. And yes, there's, a, there's quite a few comments in there, people telling us where to go. And after this one, I will go to two of those. I'll choose out the comments. I'll go to two of those, but I thought we can't leave it here without, because um, we, we did come a few weeks ago to Jasmine's restaurant on Pattaya Clank, so South Pattaya Road. And we, uh, this is got probably two or three months ago when we, when we videoed here. And the, uh, the Kapow Mu, what Dan had was excellent. So we, we've got to put this place in. It's Jasmine's here on Pattaya Clank. Oh. Now I need a menu. Thank you. We've ordered a Krapao Mu. We've also ordered some Thai noodles and also Penangai, because I like Penangai. And that might be the next one, Penangai's, because Penangai is one of my favorites. Now, the Krapao Mu is 99 baht. It's still cheap, but it, um, it's a lot more expensive. Well, 30, 40 baht more expensive than the other ones we've had. But I personally highly rate this place, Jasmine. But what I'm going to do with this one, Instead of me talking, I'm going to leave it to more of an expert. It's Dan Dan, the cameraman. Hey, then, guy, yeah. Let me just have a taste of that sauce. Oh, oh. oh yes. Very uh, spicy, <laughs> creamy. That's delicious, actually. Look at that sauce. Oh, yes. Wow, you're putting all that on. Hello, everybody. Right, now we've got Dan. He's going to test out the Kura Pao Mu. This is good. Look at the eggs. It's, it's not cooked, so the yolk, the egg and the rice together. Right, so what are the main ingredients in this, Dan? What about the sauce, what they use for, for making the Kura Pao Mu? The oyster sauce. And oyster sauce? Yes, I oyster, didn't know oyster, oyster sauce, sauce went in it. Okay. And one another type of sauce, the bean sauce, is it? Yeah, yeah. And those three combinations, yes. And some place has a lot of cooking oil, some place doesn't. This place is quite good. Not not too much cooking oil. Mm -hmm. And the minced pork is quite it's not fatty at all. I love I love that. I don't like fatty minced pork, it's horrible. So Bat boys, beep, 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 beep. That was Jasmine, guys. Very nice. I, I really enjoyed that. Um, I don't know. Well, at the very end of these, what we're going to do is we'll get Dan to give his opinion on which one was the best one. It's probably better coming from him, whether being a Thai guy. But I don't know. With that place, maybe it's, it's, it's a good one because they seem to use 
quality ingredients. Right, we thought we'd pop to Central Festival because a little dicky bird told me there's a little bit of a festival going on here. We won't mention the word, eh? Because YouTube might have us. But check out this. Oh my God, the smell. <laughs> Who'd have thought this one year ago? We'd be in Central Festival looking at the Cannabis Festival in Central Festival. This is surreal. Down the other end, they've just had like a, a beauty pageant. Uh, I don't know, Miss, Miss Cannabis. <laughs> There's cannabis plants everywhere and you can smell mm. hom, as they say in Thailand. There must be a ton of weed in here. It's unbelievable. I, I, like I say before, I can't believe that I'm actually in Central Festival and there's weed everywhere. Uh, oh, look at the ladies as well. Maybe it's a thumbnail opportunity here, Dan. Sorry, Cab. <laughs> oh, Miss, Miss Cannabis. Oh, Miss, Miss Cannabis, cannabis Thailand. Ah, Miss Cannabis Thailand. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> oh, I'm just thinking about you guys. Can you see you? It's only sick puppy. I'm just, you know, what shopping, you shopping for medicine. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm like, here I am in Thailand, and look at this. Family friendly service, you know. Look, well, look yeah. we're inside a Central Festival. Yeah. And the whole floor is covered in weed. It's yeah. insane. And I, I told him I need to sleep. Uh, <coughs> giving me the best selections and some of the most beautiful, you know, experts here. So what? Uh, yeah, this. I've noticed. I don't know if you've noticed it, but there's, yeah. there's a lot of sort of Thai Americans here. Yeah. Um, and now I, I did a, a, a rumor. And it's, it's quite true, actually. That um, I think roughly around about 20 plus of California's top growers have now moved to Thailand Correct. in and Pattaya. And I told them I'm from California, so I would be doing, you know, the California test. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they're very happy to actually have me give it a sniff. And uh, no, I'm very, very open. I mean, you know, I like cookies, and uh, oh, okay. so I made sure I got some cookies and snacks to uh, take home later. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, bag of treats, you know, um, you know, just treats. You know. Just just happy yeah, shopping. Exactly, you know, Saturday afternoon shopping. And uh, <laughs> uh, what else is there to do? <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys. Uh, All right, take care, man. Yeah. All right. Good <laughs> Okay, Dan. Yeah. <clears throat> that was uh, the the cannabis festival at Central Festival. Right. Now we've come to um, Soy Seven. Uh, um, it's still early doors, but we've got a party tonight um, in a seven bar for uh, Stu Du Stu D, who's a, a good friend of the channel. So what I'll do is we'll just have a quick wander through well, each bar now. Follow me, Dan. That was a short break. We've got to A7, now let's go and have a... See if we can get Stu D. He's here, guys. Stu D. Stu! <laughs> Happy birthday to you, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Oy, oy. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Good night. Good night so far. Yes, mate. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Buzzing. We going in. <laughs> we got food on as well. We had one guy. We had one guy earlier sitting there without a drink saying, "What time's the food?" <laughs> but it was too early. 